Hey players, have you ever heard the statement that beauty is in the eye of the beholder or that beauty is only skin deep? Which one is it? Is beauty something that we as humans can understand and appreciate collectively? Or is it so subjective that each person perceives beauty in their own special way? Today we uncover the truth behind what makes you beautiful. In different societies and cultures all throughout time, there have been general standards as to what beauty was. For instance, in the 1600s, the standard of beauty was to be pale and plump. Beauty was tied to wealth, so the fatter you were, the more wealthier you were perceived to be because you can afford to keep yourself well fed. And this idea hasn't gone away. Certain countries within Africa will plump up their women so that they appear more healthier and therefore more attractive. But in the gluttonous society known as America, this seems to be the opposite. In America, we we praise women who are slim and tan. Being slim means that you're taking care of your body, and being tan means that you have healthy skin. So does that mean in the good old US of A that being large and in charge isn't considered beautiful? In a cultural sense, yes. But don't be discouraged by this. There are so many cultural norms that we follow, we can't even begin to understand why. In Southeast Asia, women stretch their necks. In Africa, women stretch their bottom lip. And in America, Women stretch their memories. So what unaltered physical traits can we find on a person that's considered natural beauty? Face symmetry is a natural form of beauty. People with more symmetrical faces are often viewed as being prettier. But what men usually focus on is a woman with a waist to hip ratio of 0.7. Beauty icons all over the world usually contend to this ratio, which means that no matter how big or small you are, mathematically it is possible for you to be beautiful. And yet despite all the rules as to what beauty is defined as in a cultural sense, we possess the ability to overlook it completely. Studies show that when a person is in a relationship, we tend to overlook the physical traits about them that we don't like and highlight the ones that we do. It's almost as if nature hardwired this into our programming so that we could be happy with our partners and not so superficial. So the way I see it is that even if you aren't stereotypically beautiful, there is still a potential that someone out there can love you for who you are. Because at the end of the day, no matter what people say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Sure, attraction may fall in line with these cultural stigmas, but commitment requires something that much more. It requires love from within here. As always guys, love and peace. If only you saw what I can see, you'll understand why I want you so desperately. Right now I'm looking at you and I can't believe you don't know. Oh, oh. You don't know you're beautiful, oh, oh, that's what makes you beautiful.